Hello, this is a quick overview of the training and coaching workshop we're providing on strategic planning, objectives and KPIs for the College of Technology, Ministry of Manpower in Oman. This is a combined workshop with PM Squared and the Al Marif Consultancy. The workshop itself is going to be taking you through a sort of a five step journey. We'll be helping you um, develop your strategy map, which identifies your st strategic objectives and their priorities. From there, for each objective, we'll be translating that into action. So for each objective, identifying how each of your core processes impact strategic success. And we'll identify the critical performance nodes, the nodes that you have to execute with extreme precision in order to be successful. Then for those black nodes, we can then identify where the key performance indicators are that will allow leadership and the organization to measure and monitor how you're performing against these strategic objectives. From there, we'll identify what are the strategic initiatives you need to close the performance gaps. And then finally, we need to develop your overall strategic plan. The premise of the workshop is fairly straightforward. Any strategic plan needs to cover off a series of elements. We have to take your vision, translate that into your mission, from there strategic goals, objectives, and then key performance indicators. But here's what we know. Our research at Harvard indicates that forming strategy is not the problem. The issue is about translating strategy into action. What we discovered is over 80% of strategies fail, not because they're not correct, but because they're not executed. In other words, a broken part of most strategies is not the development, but rather the execution. So we'll be spending a bit of time on developing the strategy, but a lot of time on how you go about executing it at your colleges. In fact, some more recent research have indicated that once we set up a strategy, on average, 37% of value is lost in the execution of that strategy. And it's for these reasons. So our program is going to take you through that strategy development and then execution phase. I'll be telling you the context of the workshop through a case study for the Bow Valley College in Calgary, Canada. Now with Bow Valley, they had an existing strategy, as your colleges do, that we needed to update and then move forward with on the strategy planning execution side. So for them, we took their existing strategy documents and used that to create a strategy map. Now, I'll show you what that looks like in the context of the workshop. So this is the story as Bow Valley now shares amongst their leadership team. So imagine this. Overall, our vision statement is we open doors and open minds by creating opportunities for learners, employees, employers, and communities, and by shaping the future of college education. And we're going to describe our strategy through four perspectives. Overall, our goal is to make stakeholders happy. And our stakeholders are the actual students, their employees, employers, but also the partners, investors that support us in our, our school, as well as the communities in which we operate and Campus Alberta, which is a virtual organization. To make our stakeholders happy, we better have the right internal processes. So it's, these are the things that we do inside the college. To make those internal processes work, we need the right enablers. These are the culture, competency, strategic assets that we use to develop and deliver great education. And then underpinning that is the budget that we get uh, to run the organization. Overall, for stakeholders, there's three objectives we want to hit. One is we want to provide social success. We want to make sure that when our students enter the community, they are adding value to the society. Secondly, we need to give them employment success, that they have jobs that they value and are successful at. And then finally, we need to transform learning. So learning isn't what it used to be. Yes, we have bricks and mortar buildings, but we also have virtual learning experiences where people in the far north can enjoy our, our courses through videos, chats, and so forth. So what are the internal processes to make these three objectives occur? Well, overall, we have to develop excellence in that entire educational experience, not only in the classroom and on the video, but in the community, 
in the in the school itself, in the cafeterias, in the residences. And if we do that, that'll enable social success, employment success, and transformational learning. Underpinning that are three objectives. We need to challenge our thinking about how we deliver our courses because the world is changing. Secondly, we need to include all learners. These are people that are visual learners and so forth, people that are on site and so forth, uh, people that are coming to us with a high school education and those which are not and so forth. And then finally, we need to make all learning count, whether that is career learning that you've had before you've come to the college, career learning you have while you're at the college, as well as the different learning modes we have within the college. So supporting all of that are the objectives of investing in our people. This is making sure that our trainers, our cleaning staff, our maintenance people all have the best facilities, the best training, and the best, best capabilities. We need to create a culture across the college about it being learner-focused, not writing academic papers, but focus on the learner. And then finally, we need to shape the future of college education. It's our job to change how college education occurs, not only in Bow Valley, not only for Campus Alberta, but for all of Canada and in fact all of the world. Underpinning that are the two objectives of being great financial stewards of the monies we're granted and building financial partnerships to augment the government funds that we're provided. So this is a strategy map and it describes our, str our strategy or strategic objectives. And in the workshop, we'll be taking your strategy, your existing strategy, and drawing it as this cause and effect diagram. That's step one. Step two is we then need to prioritize it. Now, in the case of Bow Valley, they prioritized this by allocating weighting. So they took 100% and allocated across these objectives. And so the weighting looked as follows, which means for this year, their core strategy is about investing in our people and shaping the future of college education so that we challenge our thinking to make all learning count in aid of excellence in the educational experience. And this allows all of our employees to focus on the things that matter in the college and make sure that we're all aligned to that overall outcome. So this is the strategy map that we'll be using in developing the workshop and the execution framework for your colleges. Now, it's important to note within the context of the workshop, we're only worried about that top level strategy, but we're gonna be teaching you in this workshop how to work with that top level strategy and you yourself may choose to go ahead and build a cascade. What the cascade looks like is to achieve that overall college success, we need different teams or departments to support us. So for example, there's a marketing department and, and a different set of goals for the business uh, programs, uh, you know, the business school, maybe a different one for working workplace skills, you know, the co-op program and so forth. So different parts of your college contribute in different ways to the corporate success. So for example, I might have a corporate objective like develop new learning opportunities. Now the role of marketing is maybe to promote those new learning platforms to help students want to choose them. Uh, the role of the business program might be to develop an apprenticeship program, which is a new learning opportunity in the local businesses. Maybe uh, workplace skills, they have to develop programs uh, both to aid workplace skills and to support the apprenticeship program. And I don't know, maybe IT has to do something like enable technology so that we have those remote learnings. So we're only focusing on the top level in the workshop, but teaching you how you can build those cascades yourself in later months. So the story I just told you was around this finalized strategy map. In the workshop, you'll actually be building this out uh, in a series of steps through an Excel spreadsheet. So what this would look like in the workshop is the strategy map where you've identified the objectives, the cause and effect relationship, and then their priorities. Now, in the Bow Valley case, they allocated 100%. In your case, we'll be scoring them as a high, medium, and low. So this becomes a first part of the workshop, and then from there, we take the next step. So now I'm gonna shift over to the Excel sheet that we'll be using for the bulk of the workshop. 
So in this case, you can see the strategic objectives and strategy map that you developed in columns A through E. So through the magic of technology, we have a column in here where we've car carried over the strategic objectives into this column. So the next step in the workshop is we're going to take for each of these strategic objectives, we've done the prioritization work, we're now going to set up definitions. And so for each objective, we answer two questions, what it is and why it's important. And so these objectives become super important for people in the organization to understand your strategy. What's it about and how does it impact them? And why is it important to the college? So that becomes the third step of the workshop. Now, currently, I'm looking at the demo tab. Inside your worksheet, there's also all the blank ones that we can deal with later. So, next step, definitions. From there, we move on to the next step, which is what we call the ontology. In the ontology, we score the impact of each process on each strategic objective. So, let's take a look at how that's done. What we should be able to do is take that strategy map and priorities and across the top of the next part of the spreadsheet, list your core processes. These processes may be uh, departments that you've got, they may be institutes and centers that you support, or they may be actual processes like human resources, IT, registrar's office, and so forth. And these activities are done in support of achieving these objectives. So what we should be able to do is score the impact of each process on achieving that objective. So um, we'll end up scoring it a high, medium, low. So in the case of Bow Valley, they said the impact of human capital management on providing community support is low, has no impact on ensuring employment success, but it has a high impact on shaping the future of college education. So human capital management, how we train our instructors and so forth, has a high impact on achieving this objective. And what we do is these cells are conditionally formatted based on the combination of strategic importance and impact. So in this case, we have a medium impact on a medium objective, and that's also dark gray. In this case, we have a medium impact on a high weighted objective, so it's black. In other words, because this is super critical, even a medium impact becomes important. And what this tells us is everywhere there's a black cell, that's a critical performance node. It's super important that information management is awesome at challenging our thinking and supporting that and also in making all learning count. So we can quickly sort out now by department what they need to do to ensure strategic success. And again, that's where 80% of strategies fail because we don't have that connection. So the next step in the workshop is to do the ontology. Understand how each of your core processes support the objective. And this is going to be an important part of your strategic plan because this is how we translate the strategy into operational terms. This is the operational part of your strategic plan. So after we've completed the ontology step, the next step in what we'll do as a team is begin to link up with each of the strategic objectives. What are the key performance indicators? So how would we know we're providing community and social success? In this case, they chose uh, number one KPI to be looking at the number of graduates that move into leadership positions within 10 years of graduating. And that's about community success. And social success are the number of graduates entering into politics. Uh, ensuring employment success, they look at the average graduate salary. So at every place, they have identified key indicators that will tell us whether we're achieving success or not. So not only have we linked it to what are the core processes and what we need to do, we can now begin to monitor and manage. Are they actually doing their job of achieving the strategy? And again, that strategy translation is where it breaks down. And in most cases, all these indicators are available. We just need to go through the work of finding them. Now, we'll, beginning, we'll begin that exercise during the workshop, but this will be part of the assignment of homework afterwards. You'll end up 
uh, perhaps refining the definitions, maybe validating the ontology, the black and white weighting that you did by department, and you'll certainly be working on the key indicators in between now and we, when we come back for the review. That completes the two-day portion of the workshop. Then the next part of the workshop is when we all get together and have a, a larger session. In that session, what we'll begin doing is talking about strategic initiatives. So what we'll then be doing is working with your team to identify what initiatives you want to work on to help close those performance gaps. And eventually, with each initiative, we should identify how does it impact each of the key indicators we previously identified. So that will occupy the morning of the third day we're together, which is the Thursday of that week. So to review, there are five steps we're going to be taking you through. One, developing your strategy map and priorities. Secondly, linking those to your core processes and identifying the critical performance nodes. Thirdly, identifying what are the KPIs? How do you know you're succeeding at this strategy? Fourth, how we identify the right strategic initiatives and indicate where they're going to have an impact on those KPIs. And then finally, we actually have to develop that strategic plan. So on the afternoon of day three, we're going to help you prepare this activity that you'll then be doing is follow-up work between our first meeting and our second meeting. So what does that look like? Well, we should be able to use each of these deliverables as your booklet on your strategy plan. So what would that look like? You know, this is your overall plan. And then page one is going to be the strategy map and the priorities, as well as an explanation on what that means. Page two that's going to be the definitions and help people understand how each of these objectives impact them and why it's important for the college. The next page will be translating strategy into action, showing where those critical performance nodes are and an explanation for each process on how they contribute to success. The next page is going to take a look at the key performance indicators and how you're recommending we measure success and ultimately what are our actual targets on each of those objectives. And then the initiatives. We will identify which initiatives impact which objectives and again how it's going to improve performance across the identified KPIs. Now there'll be more to your strategic plan than that but we've now built the skeleton and each of you are going to add flesh onto that around the elements that your team needs to understand. So there's a quick overview of how we're going to be helping you develop your strategic plans. And please feel free to share this with your colleagues and refer to this during the workshop and afterwards to make sure that you're focused on the right activities. Thanks for your time.